Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hoard up straight from the new location out here in my new area, my new old hood of uh, the valley uh, right here. There's a handful of new uh, DVDs and Blu rays being released today. The Batman. Uh, is coming out today with different retail exclusives for that. I'm not going to lie, I don't have that much uh, interest in that one. I saw it in theaters. It was not the greatest. It wasn't it wasn't horrible. But it's not one of those ones I see myself re-watching over and over again, like the Tim Burton ones. Uh, Wild Things, uh, the, the the horror thriller or thriller film that came out in the 90s uh, with, uh, you know, Nev Campbell's coming out today on 4K, uh, along with uh, Candyman being released from 4K from Scream Factory, the movie X uh, is coming out today. I'm kind of interested in seeing that one. Don't know if I need to buy that one day one or anything like that. But there is a title coming out today uh, that I'm really interested in getting. But I don't think it's going to be in any of the stores. And that is a movie called uh, The One-Armed Boxer. If you guys know me, I love martial art movies and things like that. But if you guys like these videos, please show them some support by hitting the thumbs up button. And guys, before I head on out to the stores today... Since I moved, I've been going through boxes and listing a lot of stuff on my eBay store because I need to downsize a little bit. So if you guys if you guys love physical media like I do, check out my link to my eBay store. I'll be out, I'm still adding stuff on there. Check check it out. See what I have up there for sale. I have over 300 items right now. I listed over 100 things the last couple days uh, up on there. So if you guys want to see my eBay store, link is down below. But let's head on out. See what we can come across today. First stop of the day in the new old hood. Best Buy, baby. Let's head on in and see what they got. In the Beast right now at the new release section. The only thing that I'm seeing that came out this week is uh, the Batman. The new you know, Robert Pattinson one. I really like the, the Penguin character. That actor was kind of really kind of cool. But uh, the chase sequence wasn't as, as badass as I thought it should have been. It looks like they already sold out of the, uh, the Steel Book already. Which, you know, they're always kind of hard to come by anyway. But of course they have the, the 4K slipcover one right here i kind of like both i kind of like both the slip covers but like i am going to be passing on the movie this week uh this one came out a week or so ago the beverly hills cop 2 on uh, 4k can't wait to, for them to get the third one out that's one of my favorite ones is the third one and of course Candyman came out today on a 4k blu-ray digital copy oh not digital copy but a 4k blu-ray pack right here with a slip cover i already have the standalone blu-ray of this one this one's going for 29.99 i went live with ogp last night on his channel i think he said it was 13.99 on amazon but then i, I just checked it it's not 13.99 anymore uh over there we got the batman of course the still book's still gone and i love how best buys carrying the a lot of the screen factory stuff like the craft 4k escape from new york 4k they're both 29.99 uh over here they even have a copy of life force uh, that, that came out. I, have, I haven't seen that movie in years. I may have to rewatch that one soon, someday. And of course, Uma. Uma is one of the films that came out today from Sony. And uh, I got a chance to watch it a few days ago. It wasn't bad. I watched it right before I moved. And uh, it stars, of course, you know, Sandra O oh from, um, uh, what's, that, what's, that, what's that hospital show again? Uh, I, can't, I can't remember, but it's, it's pretty freaky, dude. It, it was pretty freaky, but it's also not one of those ones I see myself watching over and over again but it is out in stores right now for $19.99 if you guys want to check it out this is something I haven't seen before in the stores a the burning sea 4k this is put out by magnet at first I thought it was like a documentary but it looks like it's a feature film uh, right here don't know anything about that one let me know if anyone's seen that or if it's worth getting and it looks like they do have a few copies of X right here $22.99 I really got to watch my spending when it comes to physical media this is this will be one I would want I would want to get up on, but I kind of want to watch it first before I uh, you know get it. So if anyone has a digital code that that, that bought it today, because I share I share a Voodoo account with a friend of mine. If anyone has a digital code, please hit me up on uh, my social media like Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Maybe we can work out something. Wait a minute, wait a minute. As I was walking out of here, they have it for twelve ninety nine. This is a movie I've been kind of looking for in the stores for like the last month and a half or more. It's probably going to be bad, but $12.99. Hmm. Doink. Over at the next destination of the day, Wally World. Let's head on in. Walmart is not looking promising. It's the middle of the day. Right now, well, it's uh, 1.17 uh, in the afternoon, and they haven't put out uh, one new release yet uh, or anything over here. 
They do have Uncharted from a, a you know a week or two ago, which eh, I don't know if I'm interested in. Of course, a new Wal Mark Wahlberg flick. But other than that, not even the Batman. They didn't even put out the Batman uh, out here. Come on, Walmart. You slipping. You slipping, Walmart. But there is um, one thing that came out today that I haven't seen in the stores yet is uh, Malignant. Uh, the 4K edition was released today, which is kind of weird because I don't know why they just didn't release the 4K when they originally released the DVD and the Blu-ray. But uh, that's supposed to be out in the wild today, the 4K version of Malignant. Uh, of course, directed by James Wan, who I, who I, who I always kind of liked. Always kind of liked his movies from the original Saw movie, Malignant, you know, uh, Insidious. I always liked those ones very, very much. I mean, don't get me wrong, not all the Saw movies are amazing. Not every single thing he's made is amazing. But, you know, he's a solid, solid filmmaker. But, uh, as you can tell, no new releases at Walmart. Next stop of the day, Tarjay. Let's head on in. See if they put out the new releases, because we all know Walmart didn't. But after Target, I'm going to try to hit up one of the staples I used to hit up all the time when I lived out here in the valley. A staple. A place that I collected a lot of Blu-rays and DVDs from way back in the day. Well, it looks like Target did put out some of the new releases today. They have the Batman 4K going on for $32.99. They have their own exclusive edition, which looks like it's a different you know, cover art. And also comes with 15 minutes of bonus features and exclusive, uh, the exclusive slipcover uh, right there. That one's almost sold out right there. The standard edition, the DVD uh, edition right there. Some movie called Agent Game with uh, Mel Gibson. And look at this, look at this. It says DVD, Blu-ray, digital copy. So there's a Blu-ray uh, in this, in a DVD case. So I haven't seen this happen in years since like Disney used to put out Blu-rays and like DVD cases and uh, this is put out by Lionsgate so is this gonna be like a new thing with you know this is this says Blu-ray DVD digital copy but it's in a DVD case I haven't seen that in forever what do you guys think about that what do you guys think about that but they also have the movie Uma uh, right here like I said I got a chance to watch it and it has some good creepy vibes to it and everything like that and I kind of dug it but it's also not one of those ones that I'm gonna watch over and over and over again either. You know what I'm saying? It was solid, but not solid enough for me to watch it over and over again. And of course, they have Some of All Fears uh, that came out on 4K for the first time. That's pretty rad. Oh, that's the, yeah, Ben Affleck was up all up in that one. And of course, Patriots Game uh, on 4K. That's rad. And this is one that I kind of wanted to see when it was in theaters. Uh, Studio 66. Uh, this one looked kind of badass. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, but it also could be really bad. At the same time, this was put out by Universal Home Entertainment. If, have any of you guys seen this one? And if you did, let me know what you guys' thoughts are uh, on this thing right here. And of course, X came out. There's no, there's no 4K of this one or of uh, Studio 666 or anything like that. But uh, hey, at least Target put out their stuff today. Can't say, can't say that for Walmart. The one thing I'm hoping is that the last stop of the day, the place I've been talking about, has some of these new releases there. If not this week. The, within the next couple weeks because sometimes they get in the new releases a little bit you know later that people like say they buy them today and then you know trade them in you know kind of thing and I can get them for half price uh, over there so let's hit up the last location of the day one of my favorite independent record stores out here in the valley and the next stop of the day is CD Trader out here on Ventura Boulevard let's head on in and see what they got hopefully something cool I know I, I can't get a whole lot of footage in there because they play a lot of music but Let's go see what they got.
getting out of CD Trader now. They had a whole bunch of really cool stuff in there, like uh, Lawn Mower Man 2. And um, there's a couple of other things I saw in there, like New Year's Evil, uh, the Kino Lorber uh, release of it on Blu-ray. Uh, I just need to be careful what I'm what I'm spending money on at the moment. But they had some cool stuff in there. Lawnmower Man is kind of nostalgic to me, at least the first one. I don't remember the second one that much. But to see it on Blu-ray in there is kind of rad. But right now, guys, let's head on home. I'll show you guys the one thing I did pick up, and I have two unboxings to do. Let's head on home. I did, I did end up stopping off at a Goodwill uh, on the way back home and I ended up picking up a Star Wars uh, DVD right here. It's one of those limited edition ones of A New Hope uh, here, brand new factory sealed. I bought it for $3.99. Uh, this one usually sells between $25 to $30 on, on eBay, you know, when it's factory sealed and new. So I uh, hopefully make a little profit on that one. Uh, but the main thing... I picked up today uh, was over at Best Buy. I was kind of happy to see it because I didn't see it in any stores, uh, at least out there in Palmdale where I before I moved over here. I uh, came across Black Friday. It's probably not a great movie uh, by any means, but it has you know Bruce Campbell in there and uh, Devin Sawa and uh, I don't know. It seems like something I might like, and if I don't, I'll just put it up on put it up on eBay or something. You know, it was twelve ninety nine, so I couldn't pass that one up. Uh, those, are only, those are the only two things I picked up today, but I have two packages here uh, to open up uh, that um, that were sent to my old place and then got rerouted to my new place. Uh, one's coming from Wilgo USA, the other one's coming from MVD uh, Home Entertainment. So let's open up the MVD uh, Home Entertainment one and see uh, what this one is. So I, I gotta change my address with some of these uh, you know different companies and stuff that send me product to talk about. Some of them I have already, but let's see what this one is. And it is The Beatles in India. Was this like a concert film? It looks like a concert film or documentary uh, of uh, some sort. Put up an MVD visual. It looks like it looks like it's an all-region disc A, B, and C. Rare archival footage, recordings, and photog uh, photographies, eyewitness accounts, and oh, okay. So it's, I think it's like a like a little documentary. Well, like little like documentary footage and stuff uh, of the Beatles uh, back in the 50s or 60s, I think. Yeah, 1966, it says. It was rec recorded in 1966, this footage. That looks, that looks like it could be kind of cool uh, from MVD Home Entertainment. And this other one's coming from Wargo USA. Let's find out what that one is. And there was no paperwork when it comes to the, um, the Beatles one, so I don't know when that one comes out. Oh, my. Okay. This is rad. We got It Man Awakening. Uh, this is the new Ip Man movie, and the, of course, the Donnie Yen. Oh it's, oh, it's not Donnie Yen anymore again. It was Donnie Yen that played Ip Man and uh, Ip Man one through four, and there was been like different little offshoots, or like you know different off, yeah the little offshoots of Ip Man. But this is Ip Man: The Awakening. I'm not sure how what. While visiting Hong Kong, a young master Ip Man is, oh, in a, in a kidnap uh, some something to do with a, a kidnapping. I will be talking about this in the future. I love me some martial art movies. This one looks like it could be kind of cool, but it's one of the ones that doesn't star Donnie Yen as the character. But dude, this is—I'm really hyped for that. I, I was—I was not was not expecting that. But let's see if there's a date on here. Yeah, this one comes out on a Blu-ray and DVD June 21st. June 21st in stores everywhere. If you guys want to get up on that one, thank you, Wellgo USA, for sending that on over. I love me some kung fu martial art action flicks. And that one's right up my alley. I have all the other ones uh, right on the shelf over there. My little martial art, martial art collection. But uh, that's all I have to show and talk to you guys about today for today's Hoarding Up. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button. Please check out my eBay store. Like, favorite, favorite me on eBay. So whenever I post something new, you guys can you know, get a notification of me posting new stuff on there. Uh, I do, I'm, trying, I'm just trying to you know, downsize my collection. I know I, I'm still getting stuff, but I'm trying to downsize. Because I just have way, way too much stuff. But um, at the same time, I am a physical media guy and I love physical media, so I'm kind of like uh, in a pickle here when it comes to stuff. But if you guys would like to support me in any way and you see anything on my eBay store that you're interested in, you know, if it's there, check it out. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the flippity flop.